this leaf print makes a very easy and affordable last minute holiday gift, Christmas gift. And it also works great in an art journal as a focal point or a junk journal as a page, part of a page layout. So there's a lot of uses for this. And I want to share with you two different ways of achieving it. One with your jelly press and one, if you don't have a jelly press, you can use the takeout container. So I would like to show you both. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you will take a moment and subscribe to my channel and the notification bell will let you know when I upload additional content. I'm going to try to do some last minute Christmas gifts here the 1st of December. So the first thing to create this particular project that you will want to do is choose your cardstock color. And I have some texture plates here for my jelly press and some stencils that are, you know, kind of my go-tos and my favorite. I'm working with three to four different colors of ink on each jelly press pole. Uh, this is violet, yellow, and orange yellow. And I am just going to lay down one of my big stencils, pull that excess paint off, and then get the actual imprint pull on that second run and there you have it that will be the start for one foundation or one background piece again i'm just laying the ink down first in a in a fine coat on the jelly press and i'm going to take the stencil lay that down pull up the excess and get that print defined on that second pull just cleaning off my stencils. And we'll do a couple more. And some of the colors that I used, um, I'm using the Arteza or Arteza paints. I'm not exactly sure which way is the proper way to say it. I'm using yellow oak or burnt umber, raw sienna, an orange yellow, um, a Prussian blue, a violet, and a magenta are, are kind of the colors that I stuck with when I created all of these different backgrounds. And you just need to, to pull it and layer it until it looks good for you. And what, you know, what colors, what color family you want to work with. I actually have a friend I was doing one of these for that is highly into the violet. So that's why I chose some bright colors. And then I also have someone that I was making one for that likes the dark earthy tones. So you'll see both in the finished projects here. And I'm just using the same stencils over and over. I also pull in some black. I don't think I mentioned black. And I use both the craft and white cardstock. This is watercolor paper that I'm going to use to get the leaf print. Again, this is the jelly press process. And I am just cutting a long, thin um, strip, but wide enough to accommodate the leaf. And the leaves I've pulled out of my garden are uh, just salvia leaves. And I think I had one morning glory leaf that I used. And I'm just hinging it there at the edge of my gel press. I'm going to secure it down with a little bit of painter's tape. And I do this on each leaf. A thin coat, and I'm using, for this one, it is the Prussian Blue. And we'll place that leaf down and mask the print now. Mask the leaf so we don't get any color where the leaf is. And when you pull that back, you'll just see the background around the leaf. Pull that leaf off and reapply the paper and you'll get all of those little veins now in that second print. See? 
And I just want to make sure that when you're using the leaves, you want to make this is the side that you want to go near the jelly press, the side with the, the little rib and all of the veins. Let's do another one. Again, just a thin coat of paint. You don't need a ton. Get it spread out nice. Make sure you mask, get the mask, the white spot where the leaf is. Holding the gel press down so it doesn't shift on me. And now picking up those veins. And I could have used a little more pressure there. But let's just take a look at some of them that I have completed. Yeah, I think these turn out nice. That's that morning glory leaf. There was one that I didn't quite get down. And this is what happens when the gel press shifts on you. So I think we have some to work with here. And to mount those, I am just um, going to tear around the outside edges using my ruler to define the area that I want to tear. And I like how that looks. It's you know kind of a soft outline with that watercolor paper. I'm roughing it up a little bit with my sanding block. And I will um, just cut some with my with my cutter. And the little scraps that I pulled off of the edges of those leaves, I am just getting those into you know a size that I might be able to use on these prints. I'm trying not to waste anything. So now I'm just laying it out and trying to figure out exactly how I want it to look. Now I've pulled some sticks out of my yard. I have a 200 year old pine tree sitting in my front yard and it shed some um, limbs or some twigs, essentially branches in a recent high wind. So I pulled up some of those sticks and took them up to my studio and Broke them into little pieces and I'm utilizing them in my mixed media projects. This is the background that I started to utilize. I wind up not using this one, but I I didn't pull this out because, you know, I, I'm just inking around the outside edge with that vintage photo. And I do that on most of the background. So it was just a good opportunity to show that. And I don't think this looks bad, but I found one that I liked better for this particular for this particular leaf and it will I'll, I'll share that with you here in a minute but i just wanted to show you how i kind of worked on getting this laid out so i knew what i was going to do and they all kind of came together a little bit easier after the first one and i've also pulled in some coffee stained cheesecloth and i also have some just plain white cheesecloth as well and I'm going to utilize some sari silk in this project. And I will tie that around my stick. And this is the background that I decided on for this. More colorful. And I chose a background that had a little bit of blue, but also pulled a lot of other colors in. So I'm going to lay that coffee stained cheesecake down. And then I'm going to utilize a, another color that pulls from the background on top of this. And that was just one of those little pieces that I had when I 
trimmed down the leaf. And I've tied a little piece of sari silk around my stem or my stick. And we'll glue that on top of the second piece of coffee stained cheesecloth. And we'll set that aside for now. So that is the gel press process. Now, this is a takeout container. And I cut that apart until it is just in that flat little square. And I am using painter's tape to put it down on my my mat and I'm going to spread my paint over that takeout container. Now I tried this on just laying wax paper down and the wax paper just didn't really cut it. So that's why I went with this takeout container. It has a little bit more of a um, dimension to it. And I'm just doing that uh, print. Now, I, I like that. It looked okay, but I didn't get as much of the veining as I wanted. So this is when I pull in the um, black. And I'll show you what I do with that. I thought yellow ochre first. And I'm not really getting the veining that I wanted. So now I am, am pulling in some black. And I am just going to lay my leaf back down in that black ink. And then it will be real easy to see where that leaf goes on that print or that piece of watercolor paper. I'll just line that up. Lay that down. It's a little different process, but it works. So we just created that same leaf print a little differently with this takeout container. So if you don't have a gel press, this is another way to go. So now I'm working on the background and I am pulling in some, um, not even using stencils, I'm just pulling in. Um, a uh, hotel key card. This is a uh, empty piece of spool of thread. And I'm just putting some circles on it as well as, um, you know, just hit it with the edge of that card to create some lines. And just creating that background. And I'm just doing this to illustrate that you don't have to go out and buy the gel press. You don't have to go out and buy all of the stencils. All you really need is a little bit of ink and a few things around the house. And you can create this without all the tools. There, I like that. I think that's that's looking good and I think that this actually turned out to be one of my favorite prints or one of my favorite finished pieces. And I'm going to cut this with my I, you know I never have figured out the true name of this. I I refer to it as my cutter thing. So I will cut this with my cutter thing. I'm going to go around the outside edge of that with some black ink. Kind of frame it. And I'm tying a, a little piece of jute around my stick. And that jute comes in three strands. So I'm just breaking apart those three strands. So it is a little bit more interest. And then we'll turn that off. So we have the cheesecloth and the stick with the, the jute around it. And we'll glue that down.
And now I am going to mount this on cardboard. And I actually go back and I mount all of these on cardboard. So I'm just tearing some of that uh, first layer off to create a little grunge and, and a little more interest in the background. And I'm going to use the vintage photo and just grunge it up a bit. Now I'm just putting my name and the date on there. You know, just further personalizes the gift. And the grunge the back up as well. Well, I'm actually adding a little bit of that yellow. I, I added in some fossil, fossil amber ink. And we'll glue this background down. And I have these little um, photo mounting squares or triangles, and I decided to use those just to give it a, another little additional bit of interest. And everything is, is glued down. And now I've decided to grunge up the back as well. And I'm going to add a little piece of paper on the back and, and we'll do that in a bit about how, you know, how this is created. So there you have the finished piece. This is the one off of the gel press next to the one off of the takeout container. And I think they both look good. So to further personalize that, I just printed out a little detail of, of what it was made from and how it was done. And I'm going to just hit that with, with a stencil just to, you know, add a little more interest into that as well. And then my cutter thing, <laughs> and we'll cut it out into a size that's appropriate to glue onto the back. And we'll just glue that on there. And that completes it. So there is the finished piece. Uh, this was a gel press print. This is also another gel press background and print. And again, I added a stamp on that one. That is the one done with the takeout container. These are gel press and gel press. This is a morning glory leaf. So thank you for stopping by. Again, my name is Peg, and I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I am hopeful that you will subscribe to my channel and that notification bell will let you know when I upload additional content. So thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it very much. I appreciate you. I appreciate those of you that have already subscribed. I plan on doing, you know, a few um, ideas the first week of December on last minute gifts that you can use. So please come back and join me for, for yet another. Bye for now.